U.S. psychedelic pioneer and spiritualist Ram Das dies aged 88. Ram Das pictured during a lecture at the 1970 Alternative Media Conference. Spiritual guide and pioneer of the U.S. psychedelic movement Ram Das has died at home in Hawaii, aged 88. New script from BBC. Born Richard Alpert, he worked with Timothy Leary in the 1960s on research into LSD at Harvard before traveling to India and studying spiritualism. He was well known for his first book, Be Here Now, which sold over two million copies. All clips may not represent the story. Ram Das died peacefully at home, his foundation said, but he had suffered bouts of illness in recent years. In 1997, he suffered a stroke that left him paralyzed on the right side of his body and limited his ability to speak. In 2004, he had a life-threatening infection and cut back on traveling. Watch to become bilingual with latest world news. Thousands have expressed their condolences on social media. 2020 U.S. presidential hopeful Marianne Williamson said Be Here Now had a big influence on her. American producer Judd Apatow also said The Spiritualist had an enormous impact on my life. Writer Bill Corbett said while Ram Das was pretty much a cliché 1960s white guy who studied in India guru, at first, he was never content in the superficial for long. Ram Das was born into a wealthy Jewish family in Boston, Massachusetts. His father was president of a railroad company. Ram Das wrote that he came from a Jewish anxiety-ridden high-achieving tradition. In 1952, he earned a degree in psychology at Tufts College and his doctorate at Stanford University in 1957. He began teaching and researching psychology at Harvard in 1958. During that time, as he would later describe, he lived in an apartment full of antiques, drove a Mercedes-Benz, owned a Cessna plane and vacationed in the Caribbean. I was living the way a successful bachelor professor is supposed to live in the American world of he who makes it, Ram Das wrote. Psychedelic movement while at Harvard, Ram Das met fellow professor Timothy Leary and the two became friends. Leary helped popularize 1960s counterculture under the motto, turn on, tune in, drop out. Leary was researching the effects of psilocybin, the compound responsible for the hallucinogenic properties of some mushrooms. Leary gave Ram Das his first taste of psilocybin at a party. Ram Das wrote of his first experience, the rug crawled and the pictures smiled, all of which delighted me. The two began experimenting on the therapeutic uses of the compound, until 1963, when both were fired from Harvard, Ram Das because he gave LSD to an undergraduate student and Leary for shirking his teaching duties. Recreational LSD use became illegal in the U.S. in 1968 as other studies suggested the chemical could cause dangerous psychotic reactions. Ram Das began looking for alternative ways to reach enlightenment and journeyed to India, where he studied under the guru Neem Karali Baba, also known as Maharaj Ji. Ram Das gave the guru a high dose of LSD, but he showed no reaction, which led Ram Das to believe that the higher state of consciousness Maharaj Ji had achieved could not be changed by drugs. Maharaj Ji gave Ram Das his name, which means servant of God in Hindi, and taught him Hindu principles, meditation and yoga. Ram Das returned to the U.S. in 1968, at the request of Maharaj Ji, wearing white robes, bearded and barefoot. Let's learn some of Ram Das' most popular quotes. Treat everyone you meet as if they are God in drag. If you think you're enlightened, go spend a week with your family. We're all just walking each other home. You've got to become somebody to become nobody. He began lecturing across the US on spirituality, incorporating humor and principles from Hinduism, Buddhism and Sufism into his teachings. Be Here Now, published in 1971, was his first book and became a popular guide to New Age spirituality. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs was among those who lauded the book as transformative. But in the 1980s, Ram Das began attempting to shed his guru image. He shaved his beard and robes but was unable to drop his recognizable Hindi name. He also disavowed some of his earlier praise of LSD. Openly bisexual, in the 90s he said he was primarily homosexual. In 2009, he learned he had a son, Peter Reichard, from a brief affair with a classmate during his time at Stanford. 
He was a co-founder of the Siva Foundation, a non-profit that provides eye care, including surgery and glasses, in over a dozen countries. Ram Das is the subject of the documentary Becoming Nobody, which was released this year. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.